James Mathers for the Digital Cinema Society. We're at the West Coast headquarters of Creative Solutions. That includes Teradek, and Teradek is a partner in the Camera to Cloud uh, Frame.io uh, group, and it's Michael's brainchild. Tell us about it. Yeah, we've been working on this for almost 10 years, honestly. The idea of Camera to Cloud is something that a lot of people have been saying uh, for a long time, and it's really been a, a mission and a passion for a lot of people in the industry. It's probably going to take 10 more years to fully get this thing going uh, and make it totally an industry standard. But we're at our first version right now. And this version, we're really proud to be partnered with Teradek. Teradek makes a product called the Cube. The Cube is our video transmitter. So when you have a camera, an SDI camera like a Venice here, you have a Cube here, and as soon as I hit record, the cube starts recording, and now we have a record uh, situation here being uh, captured as a proxy with the file name and time code and the run stop triggers of the camera. And then it will switch to transmitting, and this file will actually go up. And as soon as it's done, we can see the file transmitting right to my phone. And by the time I click refresh, it's there. And so it's like that quickly we're transmitting a file from a camera to the cloud, and now it can go right to the editor so that they can participate, they can make comments, they can start cutting this stuff. Um, honestly, Jim, what, where this is all going is essentially the elimination of the camera cards, removable media. And if you think about it, we've removed the media in these types of cameras. Like, you don't wonder, like, where's the SD card, right? That's not a problem. Well, eventually that's going to happen here, too. And the way in which we interface with all the media we shoot will move eventually to cinema. And even in the like mid-market today, the mirrorless cameras and things like that, they're going to be the first cameras to eliminate removable media and just shoot right to the cloud with an internal cache. Eventually, cinema will go the same route. The professionals will catch up eventually. They'll catch up, yeah, yeah. But I think ultimately professionals, you know, Jeff Bezos has a quote. He says, people always ask me, what's going to change in 10 years? And he says, the better question is what's not gonna change in 10 years, and nobody thinks to ask that question. One of the things that we can do when we're planning business is to figure out what's not gonna change. Well, one thing I'm pretty sure is people are gonna want things faster. They're gonna always want things faster. They're gonna wanna participate quicker. They're gonna want better security, right? Those attributes of production aren't gonna go away. So when you're thinking about business plans and roadmaps, you wanna build for things that are not gonna change. And creative control, speed, uh, flexibility, and cost are things people are always going to keep the same. They're gonna hold that stuff really high on their list. And so this is a technology we feel is worth inventing and investing in because people are gonna want things faster. And that's always gonna be a, 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 des a desire. Now it's Frame.io is the master uh, uh thing that's keeping all this together. That's right. Even though there's been lots of camera to cloud uh, prototypes and ideas, and I built one, I built a, a several over the last decade. Uh, the first camera to cloud I built um, in 2011, which was inspired by David Fincher after he finished a social network. The iPad was pretty new back then, and he said, why can't I just look at my takes right now, right after we hit cut. And we're like, that's a pretty good idea. And we started building prototypes with Teradek in 2011. And uh, Nicole Verheim, the CEO of, 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 of Teradek and Creative Solutions, he and I started building this stuff with uh, Richard Billet and another guy named Gabe. And it was really early tech. It was very, very rudimentary. But it, 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 what we were missing was the cloud. And the cloud in 2010 and 11 was pretty far off. AWS hadn't really deployed what we know of the cloud today. And uh, 4G LTE was like brand new. And so we didn't really have good bandwidth for video transmission back then, right? All of these technologies had to mature and they started to come to a focal point around 2018 and 19 when telecom companies started to explain how they're gonna do 5G. Wi-Fi 6 is coming out, things like satellite internet. Those are all the telecom communications things that need this infrastructure to be solid so that we have something to connect to. Frame.io is the operating system that sits in between the user and the camera so that you can securely, quickly, controllably send this material and make sure it's distributed correctly and make sure it's got watermarks and things like that. And that's what Frame.io's technology enables. Plus Frame.io is scalable. If you have a phone, 
uh, with an app or a desktop, laptop, or whatever, you're in the cloud now through the FrameIO interface, and that essentially is how we connect these devices. And also remote workflows you've been doing for quite a while. Yeah, you know, the, the, some people joke, they're like, did you create the pandemic? And I'm like, of course not, obviously. Uh, but um, what's funny is there is a phrase that I use with my team a lot, which is luck favors the prepared. And so even though the pandemic is a really devastating problem and, and we're bummed by everything that it's like offset, it has allowed people that were preparing for remote and cloud technologies to be able to leverage that. And we needed that as a community. The whole community had to come together. Uh, a friend of mine, Joseph Barkley, says, uh, nothing unifies people more than a common enemy. COVID is the common enemy. And that unified our entire industry to be like, okay, let's, let's figure out how we can do this. And post houses and production companies and editors, people figured out real quickly how they can be working and keep this machine going in ways that they weren't, they didn't study for that test. We weren't prepared for it really. And ultimately that external force, that enemy of COVID brought us all together to try something new an external force acting on us. The last time that happened was the tsunami a decade earlier when videotape was essentially eliminated uh, by the, the tsunami. That was an external force that was acting in on our industry and it brought us together and we unified and we got around files and file-based tech and it changed everything and there's no going back. After people switch from tape to cards, they're like, we're gonna stick with cards. Once people s switch to cloud, they're gonna stick with cloud. So oh, you've got a partnership going with Frame.io and Teradek. So what are some of the other companies? Panavision, I think, is one. Yeah, Panavision is a great resource for renting cubes and renting cameras. And so we want to make sure people can get access to them. You can buy them uh, from uh, Teradek. You can also rent them from rental houses like Able Cine and uh, Keslo. And the other uh, partnerships is with companies like Sound Devices, because uh, Sound Devices we work with to build the very first field audio to cloud recording. So now you can be out in the field with your microphones and actually transmit WAV files right to the cloud from the audio recorder itself. You know, obviously we don't do a lot of picture without sound, so there has to be a way. You're not gonna plug microphones into these often, and so you need to have both of those go to the cloud, sync together, and deliver to editors because they don't want one without the other. And so the camera to cloud process is a uh, open, publicly available API that allows any hardware manufacturer to be able to integrate into uh, the cloud, as well as software uh, manufacturers to be able to integrate into the cloud. When you combine those together, you start to open up some opportunities from really cool workflows that couldn't be possible without it. Well, thank you. Thanks for all the great innovation. Thanks, Jim. Always a pleasure to be part of DCS. Thank you.